You're welcome to another interesting episode of Frankly Speaking with Glory. My name is Glory Elijah. So, for today's episode, I just want to I just want to rant, I just want to talk. Now, there's this issue I have with my people, Nigerians. Yes, I am proudly Nigerian, but then this particular issue has gotten up to here and I am sick of it. Now, have you ever been in a Nigerian work environment and you find out that a particular set of people are trying to shove down their dialects down your throat jeez it is so annoying my god and the place that you find this thing happening a lot is at the secretariat jesus christ if you let's say you go to lagos state government secretariat now you find out that like 90% of the people that are working there are Yorubas. Everybody is speaking Yoruba. They expect that you that is coming there to come and do something is Yoruba. They expect that if for the fact that you are living in Lagos, you must know how to speak the Yoruba language. They will expect that anything you want to say, oh, if you want to ask a question, oh, if you want to make an inquiry, oh, you must speak Yoruba. Like, why does it have to be that way? And it's not just in Lagos. Okay, for instance, I served in the north at Amawa State. So the first day I resumed work in the university where I was serving, then the executive assistant to my boss is from my place, Akwaibum State. So it happened that she has been in the north for a while and she has been able to learn the language. So whenever I talk to her in English, she'll be looking at me like she doesn't understand what I'm saying. And then when the office clerk comes, who is a um, Hausa Fulani man, when they want to now converse, she will be speaking Hausa with the man, speaking Hausa with the man, both of them will be speaking Hausa. Then when I ask any of them a question with the English language, they will just be looking at me like this. Like, come on, come on. I beg, people are no vex. I know school for north. Eh? It is not my fault that I don't know how to speak Hausa. Like, why do Nigerians do this a lot? And then, you go to an office environment and your colleagues who are supposed to you know converse with you in english they try to talk to you in english for a bit and then all of a sudden if they just know that another person that is from their place is in that environment they switch to their language or their dialect i mean it's just so unsettling sometimes i feel like offices should put a regulation that you know staff should only communicate in the english language or what do you think guys yeah, I, I feel that way because sometimes, look, don't get me wrong, not like I have any issue with people speaking their languages or their dialects or whatever in office environments. I do not have any issue whatsoever with that. But where I have the issue is with work starts by 9, work closes by 5. And then for that period of time, your colleagues are conversing in their dialect and then you are there like a stupid person come on what happens to the code of ethics in the work environment that you have to relate with your with your with your colleagues that you have to relate with other staff of the company what happens to that what happens to that why do nigerians like shooting themselves in the leg come on we can do better yes i know that this is lagos state and Aside English or pidgin that everybody speaks, a lot of people love speaking Yoruba. Yes, but come on, people need to understand there are people from different tribes here. There are Yoruba, there are Hausas, there are Igbos, there are Ibibio people, there are people from uh, from different states in Nigeria, all converged in this Lagos of God. So people should not expect that everybody should know how to speak Yoruba. And those of you in the north, you should not expect that everybody should know how to speak Hausa or Fulani. Eh, come on, like, it's exhausting, it's exhausting, like, even when I was in university, you know, whenever I go to student affairs, oh my god, all those women, all those mamas, them, they'll just be expecting that you should be able to speak the dialect of that state, or be like, it's really, really exhausting, Nigerians, I beg, we know how to overdo things too much, Seth, waiting, I beg, it's not by force that I must speak your language. It's not by force that you must speak my language. Make it easy for us now, eh? And then most of the time, you will not be making it look as if somebody is antisocial. I am not antisocial. It's just because you just won't come down to my level. My level at this point is either pidgin or English language. Every other person understands. If I do not understand your language or your dialect, then please don't kill me for it. And don't snub me for it. And then don't interpret my silence to be me being a snub. It's because I do not understand what you're saying. Yes! 
my god I feel like I can't breathe. Anyways, guys, that's just my rant for this particular episode. I've been I've been pondering about this. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know your thoughts on this issue. Do you think that it is okay for your colleagues to communicate in just their dialect from the start of work hour to the close of the day at work? Or what do you think? Are you okay with this? Because if you're okay, then cool. I am not okay with it. If you're okay with it, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to this channel, we glow glory.com there you will find uh, my posts and articles from my blog and you also find my videos and so many other content don't worry I'll talk about this much more later in another episode so guys that's it for this particular episode thanks for watching bye